Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to be setting up the mini mating nukes. In a previous Raising Your Own Queens video, we were doing the grafting and setting the grafts up in the cell builders. So in this video, we're going to be dropping these cells into new mini mating nukes. We're going to be setting them up in the same apree. So I'll show you what equipment we've got and then we'll crack straight into the video. Right, so this is the sort of uh, equipment that I've got. I've got some happy days, which are, are these ones. And then just to get them ready, I've got some fondant in there, just under there. And I've got what you do, you sort of put some strips of foundation, just put some molten wax on there to seal it in. And I do have some frames that have a little bit of drawn combing as well from last year's effort. Um, so they're the happy days, they're just like little free frames on. And these are what they call little German mating hives. A bit bigger, uh, same setup. Um, but obviously just a little bit more basic I suppose bit of wood same again the starter strips just stuck on like that and then I just got these little bits of perspex and I cut them down to sort of crown board size a couple of buckets or tubs if you like a little bee tub there just to decant some bees in and probably most importantly your little spritz bottle of um, just sugary water just to spray the bees so they don't fly away um, and it gives you a chance just to make sure you're not getting the queen in there for whatever reason if you think you're getting the queen in there so we'll go over and we'll try and scoop some bees into these boxes so we're just getting ready before we open the hive sugar syrup ready little hive tool and obviously the mate in you upside down open a little slidey door and most importantly make sure your entrance is shut we've already got the fondant in like we saw before so We'll get the lid off and see if we can get some bees in. We'll just get a frame out so we can work. These have obviously got nice young nurse bees. So I might shake this frame out anyway. You can tell they were quite young bees. We don't tend to shake off the frames that easily. Make sure we don't have the queen. She is marked in here. You can see they're quite happy just in there. Spray a little bit of sugar. This one, there is a little bit of liquid feed on these, so I'm just gonna take a couple of frames out. Quick look for the queen. The queen's on that frame there. Just down the end of my finger. So I'll leave that one. Get away with a spray. I like to say the next part of the video went really well. Unfortunately, it didn't. And it sort of brings up the problems of trying to make mating nukes in your own apries. I locked them in for only 24 hours. And I think a lot of them managed to fly back to the original sites and then come back and then rob the nukes out. So I only really ended up with three nukes that actually produced queens. The other ones failed, so they didn't keep the temperature so the queens didn't hatch out. I nearly scrapped the video because of this, but I think it's good to know it's, it's, it is quite hard to do. I think once you've got a mate and you can, you've got brood, you can use that brood to sort of your advantage and then just keep adding queen cells. I think, I mean, we've all got to give this stuff a try, haven't we? So we'll play on to the second half of the video. Um, comment below and see what you guys think, what I did wrong. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And all those people that have subscribed already, thanks very much. Hope you like the rest of the video. Just open the doors after about 24 hours. And you can just see the bees are just orientating. That's what that circular motion is. We will bleed some bees back to the original hives because we are in the same apiary as you can see here. So that's the next job is to introduce the queen cells. So hopefully we'll keep, um, keep hold of a lot of bees in these boxes. But we'll soon know. Right, let's have another check on these. It's been a couple of weeks now since the queens were hatched out. So obviously with the, the scene before, we had a look at some of the other nukes that didn't work. Look at it failed because I had bees abscond and go back to the original site. But these ones, hopefully we have a little bit more success. You can see a lot of bees in here. 
Whether they actually are meant to belong in here, I don't know. It could be robin or something like that. But see if we can see any signs of brood. They've certainly built comb, which is a good sign. They're obviously storing. I always find these really awkward to uh, try and take the frames out. So we've mainly got sugar syrup and stuff in there. Egg laying, if there is any, but no mm. obvious signs of eggs. You got any eggs in here? No signs of a queen, I don't think. Some cells ready, they're all polished out. We'll see. No eggs in there yet either. Ugh. Don't know, we might not have there. Uh... There's a queen. That's the queen. So she just might not have started going yet. See her at the bottom of the frame there. She's looking in the cells, which is promising. So it just might need a bit more time this one we have had some pretty grotty weather this week so i might have just held off but hopefully she's mated but until she starts laying eggs i really don't know at least we've seen the queen we know there's a queen in there but um yeah i would like to have seen some eggs by now but this is all part of it i'm new to this there we go so we do actually have a queen out of one of the little mini mating mutes <laughs> mukes <laughs> So there we go, we do actually have a queen out of the mini mating nukes. I don't actually know if she's a viable queen because since then it has literally rained every day. And while I'm videoing this now, I don't know if you can tell, it's actually raining. So until I can actually go into the little mini mating nuke, I know she's laying eggs, I know that much, but I don't know if it's gonna be worker brood or drone brood. Hopefully, fingers crossed, she's gonna be a good one. But until I can get back in and film that, I'll pull it straight back on the channel. So if you've watched all the way to the end, thank you very much. If you've not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the bells for future videos, including to see if this queen's viable or not. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.